This is an assembly and disassembly and something of a use video for both the hut sled and the hut sled backcountry version. So here's the box. This one is, as you can see from the poles, this is the backcountry version. The hut sled regular version is pretty much the same thing, but it doesn't come with the poles. Okay. So this kind of this instruction video will apply for both. Right, take it out of the box. We're left with this. So first off, it's all held together by one of these little ropes here. So you don't need to untighten this. I'm sorry. You don't need to un. What's the word? You don't need to take these knots off. You just tighten and loosen these. This is a slip knot. Same thing on that side. So don't, don't untie them. Just loosen them. OK. So when you get out of the box, take the poles out. And those, you can just slide those out. OK, we'll put those aside for right now. You had to use those in a bit. Now, if you have just the regular hot sled without being the backcountry version, then this is what you have. So take off the take off the little carry carry rope. Put that somewhere. You can um, you can clip that to, for instance, one of the carabiners here, just so you don't lose it. Especially when you're out in the snow, it's sometimes it's easy to lose stuff. All right, so you have this, and that's what holds it together. Unlike the little snow wagon, we don't usually ship them with the uh, with the bungee holding them together. However, you can use the bungee to hold it together. All right, so let's open this up. I'll do my best to show this to you. So you flip open the front like that. Here is the uh, handle. There's the handle and the tow rope. Like with the hut sled, you can you should never need to untie you should never need to untie these. You just tighten them as needed. And if these are loose you can pull on one of these and pull on this. This is a slip knot and tighten it up. Okay. So to prevent this, now once you start pulling it, this is obviously the bow of the sled is automatically going to pull out. But just to make it easier for loading, if you want, you can take the bungee and slip it in there like that. Okay. Pretty simple. So your bungee will start from there, connect it into that little mini carabiner there, and that's held open. And now, just like the other snow wagon, you now need to tighten up the back, the back, the stern. So we have this, which is the cord lock again. Use your hand to hold that one, and use your other hand to hold that one. And since you don't have three hands, or if you want to have somebody help you, that's fine. But you just kind of alternate between using your other hand to tighten up your cord lock. So I'll do that now. So use, what I'm doing is I'm pulling this cord lock out like that, OK? So pull it, and then tighten up like that. Pull it, make it a little tighter. Tighten up the cord lock again. All right, and what you'll be left with, you can tuck this extra piece in there so it doesn't drag on the snow, that little pocket. Some people, you can actually store little things near gloves or things, but it's not that deep of a pocket. It's really good for storing the, uh, the stern lock. OK, and when it's done, it should look like this. So it shouldn't wrap over the top. It shouldn't be like that, because you can't get it as tight. It should wrap 
around the back. And now the sled is assembled. Okay. All right, so that's assembled for the sake of the for the sake of the hot sled. Now, if you have the backcountry version, you don't need to use these, but if you want to use them, here's the poles. Let's push that aside. There's two sets of these poles. So rather simple, you just put it together like that. These, there will always be a little extra space in there. The reason is, these are not like shock cords on a tent. The purpose of these poles, if you're going up a hill, these poles serve no purpose at all. By the way, they're tandem, red and blue, so you can see in bad conditions, you can more accurately see how far the sled is away from you or where it stands. And uh, Some people like to use the red side close to them, the blue away from them. I tend to like the blue side close to me and the red away. Some people like to duplex them, um, have alternate sides. But when, the, the purpose of these poles is so when you're going downhill, the sled doesn't pass you. So this holds the sled at a distance. Because otherwise, if you're going downhill, <laughs> the, sled, the, sled will, um, the sled can outpace you. Okay, so there is a, the same clip on either end. And let's get in a little closer here. You just clip it onto there, like that, and you'll do the same thing with the other side. Simple. And when you're done, you have two options. You obviously will connect the other, you'll connect the other end to your belt loops. You have two options with this. Oh, by the way, when you're pulling with the pole, you should probably take your tow rope, throw it inside like that, just so it doesn't get um, caught under there. Some people might even want to connect it to these little bungees there so it doesn't fall out. So you have two options. When you're skiing, you can have them straight, like that, or you can cross them. I, I think crossing them is really an undervalued trick. The advantage with crossing them, in my opinion, is it just gives you a little more control over the sled. So try it both ways, see which one you prefer, but I, I like crossing them. Okay, this is finished. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the other ones, this is black, so you can't really see any dirt. You can clean these sleds very easily with a magic sponge. Also, there's no seams below the water line, so you can fill it with ice if you want, and, or snow, and put all your beer and soft drinks in, your whiskey, whatever you want to keep cold. So when you're done, you get where you want to go. Let's just show the uh, disassembly now. Okay, so first, obviously, you'll disconnect the poles. Just pull them aside and then fold them up like that. And I set that aside. Same thing on this side. Pull them apart so that you have them folded like that. Okay, set it aside. The next step is Disconnect your little bungee here. Okay, so now it's disconnected. Take your tow rope, put it outside, put this outside, go to your stern, squeeze in the cord lock, 
Then I'll let the stern kind of fall a little bit. Push it in. Okay. Now this part's a little tricky. So I'll do my best to show you. But once you try it, you'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Pop in the bow so that it folds. Like that. Push in that side, both of those, and then the front, the <clears throat> one of the sides of your sled will then just fold down like that. Repeat on the other side. It's good to make sure the handle and, and, and the other rope isn't inside the sled because it'll, it can make a crease in the boat, which you may not, or the sled, I should say, which you may not want. Okay, so that's flattened down like that. Like that. I'm hold, using my hands to hold it down. This time I made sure that the bungee is on the outside. Holding both of those down, I fold it away so that it's like that. Okay? If you fold it towards each other, it won't work. You might even damage your sled. So you have to fold it away. So it's folded on the outside. It's an odd fold so that the center fold of the sled, where this finger is, is toward the top. Okay, so it'll look like this. You'll know you did it right because all of the graphics will be on the outside. Okay. So, pull around. And this makes it kind of easier if you want. You can take this. Just to hold it temporarily, you can take this bungee and wrap it around. Wrap the bungee around just to hold it closed while you're dealing with all the other stuff. So like that. And now that holds it closed. You can now just throw all that stuff inside. Throw your cord lock inside, whatever you need. Now, next. And done here. Take your carry strap, put one end on that side, like that, tighten it up. Take the other side of the carry strap. This, wrap it around this side. Like this. Okay, this is your completed for the hut sled, but if you have the backcountry edition, you then take your poles and you'll insert it into the carry straps like that. Slide it in. Okay, so that it's like this. See, it's held in on both sides. Now, I recommend strongly to clip. You won't get it in the box like this because it won't fit in the box uh, like this. But when you're traveling through the backcountry, there is a chance as this thing loosens or tightens that some of these poles may fall out and get lost. So the way to prevent that is take your clips. Apologies on the shaky camera work. I'm going to do the best I can with one set of hands. Clip them on to the strap like that. Just clip all four of them on if you want. Or clip one on and clip the rest to them. But this will keep them from sliding out. Or, or at minimum, just clip in 
one from each because they're attached, so you don't really can leave the other ones hang. Just make sure you clip the right ones in. Okay, we're all four in. Okay, and that'll keep them from falling out. Now when you're carrying this thing through the back country, you don't need to worry about losing your poles. Now, if you got the back country, if you got the non-back country version and you want to make your own poles, very, very simple uh, thing to do, no big deal. You can, uh, you can make your own. Uh, I'll try to add some information on the website about how to make your own, or you can ideally at some point just purchase the poles from us separately. They're not really high, the poles are not really high-tech items. We do have pretty strong cord in here for pulling it. It's rated, for, I think, for 150 pounds. So that's 150 pounds of hanging weight. So in most cases, if you have 100 pounds of gear, which is a lot of gear, you're not going to come anywhere close to the break, breaking um, limit of these cords because you're just pulling it. So this is done. Now I'll show you just one more thing. If you have the backcountry version and if you bought or received a, <coughs> a repair kit, <coughs> it comes with tape. There's an extra split ring in there. There's an extra cord lock. There's a stainless steel zip tie. There's a card knife in there. Just basic things you'll need to fix it. There's your hull number. And that sums it up. Thank you very much. Contact us if you have any questions. And if you purchase one of these, congratulations. I believe you're going to love the heck out of these because this is something I've personally wanted for a really long time. It's just a really lightweight gear sled for carrying picnics and kids and gear out into the back uh, country without necessarily being weighed down by a large gear or something, a large sled or something that I can't fold up. So thank you very much. Please contact us with any questions. Bye now.